If you need help with introductory anatomy, this video will cover general topics and terminology used regularly in anatomy. Gross anatomy is the study of macroscopic anatomical features or features visible without a microscope. Microscopic anatomy studies the body, organs, tissues, and cells by utilizing a microscope. Syntology is the study of cells. Histology is the study of tissues. In anatomy, life can be arranged into various levels. The pyramid details these levels, starting at the top with the simplest level and moving downward towards the most complex level. The molecular level contains atoms and molecules. Atoms are bonded together to form molecules. Cellular level contains cells and their organelles, or specialized structures within. The cell is known as the smallest functional unit of an organism. Tissues are formed of groups of similar cells working together to perform a certain specialized task. Organs are made up of tissues. Organs are grouped together to form organ systems. Organ systems work together to maintain the necessary functions of the organism. The atomic composition of humans can be seen in the pie chart on the left. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen are responsible for 99.5% of the total composition. Other atoms are found in small amounts, completing the remaining 0.5% atomic composition. Please note this is atomic composition, not mass composition, which would have different percentages. The molecular composition of the human body can be seen on the right. Water is found in the largest percentage, followed by proteins, then lipids, and finally carbohydrates. Metabolism includes all chemical processes that occur within a living organism. There are two basic categories of metabolism. Catabolism is the breaking down of a complex compound into simpler compounds. It may help you to remember catabolism if you think of how cats tear things apart with their claws. Anabolism is the building of a more complex compound by combining simpler compounds. The 11 organ systems in the body work together to keep the body functioning properly. The integumentary system protects the body from outside surroundings and regulates body temperature. Skeletal system supports the body, protects the organs and tissues, stores minerals, and forms blood. The muscular system is responsible for movement, protection, and heat formation. Nervous system functions to coordinate movements and respond to stimuli by way of nerves that spread throughout the body. The nervous system controls immediate responses. The endocrine system specializes in producing hormones that affect long-term development and function in various organs. The cardiovascular system provides internal transport for blood cells, dissolved materials, waste, nutrients, and gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen. The lymphatic system protects against infection and disease. The respiratory system is responsible for delivering oxygen all throughout the body as well as removing carbon dioxide from the body. The digestive system processes food and allows for the absorption of nutrients, minerals, vitamins, and water. Urinary system filters blood and forms, stores, and eliminates urine from the body. The reproductive system produces gametes, which are sex cells, and hormones. Directional terms are important when discussing anatomy. Distal is a term used to describe a part of the body that is away from the site of attachment to the body. For example, the wrist is distal to the elbow. It may help for you to think of distal as distant, as it is farther away from the attachment point of the appendage to the body. The opposite of distal is proximal. Proximal means near the site of attachment to the body. The elbow would be proximal to the wrist. Medial means toward the midline. The abdomen is medial to the arm. Lateral is the opposite of medial and means away from the midline. The ears are located laterally to the nose. Superficial means toward the body's surface. The skin is superficial to muscles. Deep means toward the interior of the body. So muscles are deep to skin. 
Superior means above. It is the opposite of inferior, which means below. The neck is superior to the chest. The ankle is inferior to the knee. Anterior and ventral correspond to the same side of an organism. Anterior is the front side and ventral is the belly side. The eyes would be found on the anterior or ventral side. Likewise, posterior and dorsal correspond to the same side. They both mean the back side. The spine is located posteriorly to the internal abdominal organs. Cranial or cephalic means toward the head. Caudal means toward the tail. In humans, caudal refers to toward the coccyx, commonly known as the tailbone. Anatomical position is when the body is oriented upright with feet flat on the ground, face forward, arms at the side, and palms facing forward. Supine is the position of a person laying down face up. Prone is the position of a person laying face down. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to view additional simple anatomy overviews.